What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Flagrant 2. Analysis by asshole. No easy. Easy? Easy. easy. No easy buckets. <laughs> Water cooler commentary for your sports needs. Uh, I'm Andrew Schultz. I'm here with Akash Singh of Real Life Cast. Hey, hey, hey. Um, we got a, we got a very special episode. Cat, maybe you want to set it up. This is yeah. your idea. So uh, there's a lot of people who still kind of don't really know what Flagrant 2 is about. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, where we're coming from, like, you know, what we stand for, what, you know, things that we celebrate, we don't celebrate. So I figured it would be a good idea to have the first annual Flagrant 2 Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Hot. Hot idea, Hot. right? Yes. All love righty. it. All righty. So um, what I want to do, since uh, I got this kicked off, I would love to, um, you know, induct the first member okay. of Who the Flagrant got? 2 Hall of Fame. And I think it's an easy one. I think it's a layup. Mm-hmm. He is our logo. He is our, um, he is the inspiration for this podcast. Mm-hmm. He is one of the greatest basketball players to ever play the game. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I'm not talking about Kobe Bryant. Nope. I'm talking about the one and only Chris Childs, guys. Chris Chin Checker Childs, let's go. Yes. I'm into it. I'm yes. Into it. Uh, the first inductee to the Flagrant 2 Hall of Fame goes to my man Chris Childs. Uh, back in a, uh, a wayward era mm-hmm. of Nick Fan. Where uh, when the garden wasn't, you know, the place that you would come to were to, to you know, get your your 50 point games, no. your triple doubles, no. people bottle flipping on the side, no. people, uh, you know, they're setting up their press area. They got a They got they got a sneaker coming out. Mm-mm. So they come out and do like a whole press run with all these, you know, things because they're playing in the garden. And it's a right. big, you know, it's a big media center. Back in the day. When you used to come to the garden, you had to bring your lunch pail. Mm-hmm. You had to come and bring, you know, your hard work. You knew you were in for a dog fight. Pat you know Riley. What I mean? Pat Riley days. I'm talking Jeff Van Gundy days. I'm talking about your Oakleys, your Anthony Masons, your, you know, your Charles Smiths, your Patrick Ewings, you know, uh, your Charlie Wards. And one of those people that I, I feel, you know, doesn't really get enough credit for being, you know, one of the linchpins of that golden era of gritty Nick style basketball is my man Chris Childs. Yep. Why? Because uh, not he, he wasn't necessarily an everyday starter. Sometimes Charlie Ward would start over him. Like even like the latter days of, of John Starks would get some playing time over him. But Chris Childs represented a gritty New York City style point guard that wasn't fancy. You know what I mean? He doesn't really he didn't really go in and, and have all these like spectacular highlights. What's his career highlight? Our logo right here. If anybody's ever, uh, you know, been to the Flagrant 2 podcast or watched it on YouTube or SoundCloud or iTunes or everything, people will say, yo, what is that, um, what is that logo? Some and other, people know. I'm some upset. people will. I'm upset when they don't know. Exactly. And that's, and that's the thing. I'm not even a Knicks fan. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing. And, like, that's why Chris Childs is so important right. to be in our Hall of Fame. Because if you get the logo... You get exactly what the show is about. Right. It's not about your numbers. It's not about your stats. It's not about your your Mamba mentalities or Hall of Fame numbers. Can you hook game. off? Can you? When somebody steps to you, yep. what are you gonna do? Do you Bradley Beal or do you Draymond Green? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it really exactly. depends what that's, it is. That's In all. In this comes situation, down to. Chris Childs, Bradley Beal. Yeah, exactly. He was or about he that Chris, action. Chris Childs, Chris Childs. I mean, exactly. he gave him two pieces. Two no pieces biscuit. of biscuit. No biscuit. <laughs> the biscuit would have dropped Kobe. And I think that there was a moment where he said, and he's even said this in an interview since. He was like, I didn't want to hurt him. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell. It was he, boop, boop. He hit it. He went right, then left. <laughs> and we got the right. We got the we straight got the right. right. Straight right, then left, and he didn't want to finish with another right. You that could have been dangerous. You can tell he didn't really want to go in because if people watch that punch a yep. lot, he grazed the chin and just got him in the chest, you know, and he right. gave him his whole face. So yep. it's like, yo, if this yep. is a real fight, if yep. they're really out there somewhere, you know, he could have took his whole chin off, oh. like his whole face off. Bro, it was, you know, you know, later in his career, like he learned nothing. Yeah. Because yeah. remember when Matt Barnes threw the ball in his face and he didn't move? He didn't even flinch. That was actually <laughs> That's why you got knocked out. Exactly. That's why you got two-piece with no biscuit, and you're lucky. You have the nerve. You have nerves of steel, but, like, that only works in basketball. Only. <laughs> on the street. That's how you know he was raised in Italy. Exactly. Because he wasn't even looking at hands. He was looking at feet. He was like, I think someone might try to kick me. Might do some soccer shit. Yeah. 
Also, a, this helps you erase the embarrassment of the Larry Johnson Alonzo morning fight. Do you remember that? This is facts. Okay, <laughs> fam. I remember I was so excited. I saw those two square off. Yeah. I sat up in my room. I was like, it's about to go down. <laughs> yeah, 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 and yeah. then I saw these girly ass overhand rights and they're leaning back. <laughs> wrist is mad loose. And I was just like, what the fuck well, is that? When that was that when Van Gundy jumped on? Yeah, on his yeah that's what So Van he Gundy jumped on whose leg? Ankle. Zoe's? He grabbed on Alonzo morning's ankle. Yo, Van Gundy is the realest. I was about to say, like, yo, out of all the people that were fighting that day, the only person that kept it the most true was Was Jeff Van Gundy. Jeff Van Gundy, and he jumped on his leg like a hood rat (laughs) side chick who didn't want her boyfriend to get beaten up. Let him go! Uh, Let let him go! But notice, this was what's so real about Van Gundy. Uh, he ain't jump on Larry Johnson's leg. No, no that's no. he jumped on Zoe's leg. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna make it look like I'm breaking this up, but I'm really giving him a disadvantage <laughs> so LJ could drop that bow on him. This Let's go. Fact. That's a, that's what a good coach does. Dude. Like, yo, this game has already went to hell. Mm. I'm not gonna hold my player back. No, fuck that. We are going after Zoe. Yes, it's white versus black and red, yep. and we're gonna make sure. And forever, in, and Van Gundy's forever loved of in course, New York for that course. moment, and Chris Childs forever loved in New York for yeah. that moment. You can go to a, any Garden game if Chris Childs and Jeff Van Gundy Superstar. is on the screen. If yeah. they show him up, like it could be, it could be a playoff game. It could yep. be any type of game. Yep. Standing ovation for those. Absolutely. Guys, you know? Those are, those are those Nick legends. Those are those New York City legends. Because that was a time where we value players who could fight. Yeah. Like, now that doesn't come up in your, like, 2K score at all. <laughs> but, like, there was a time in New York, like, Oakley mm-hmm. would fuck you up. Facts. Facts. I still love Oakley. I, of course. We, I mean, it's crazy the disrespect he's gotten at the Garden. And probably does have some anger issues, but Oakley. Probably. I mean, he got some anger issues, yes. Bro, him and Barkley. I, I thought about inducting Oakley, but then I realized you guys would take care of every Nick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I looked up Charles Oakley fights. Yeah, yeah. He has multiple fights with Charles Barkley. Thanks. That shit is so funny. That you, on, guys, that you guys just every few years, you're like, it's about time, I think. And, and the crazy shit they're is like, like now, they're, like, they're like the best of friends. Like, they always go drinking with each other. Because they they re- re- there's a mutual respect Thank you. There. Yeah. When you know someone doesn't cur, you know how we're about <laughs> cur every week. But when you know someone's not pussy, look at that. Look at that right Look at that, bro. Look at that, bro. Kobe didn't know what oh, no. hit him. And he did it in their house, which makes it more I special I forgot to me. that. I thought it was at home. No, it wasn't at home, no, though. It was a Staples, dude. Look at his and this, jaw. And mind you, this the is The top like, of Kobe's head is going, this motherfucker won't punch me. The bottom of his head is like, I think I got knocked out. I think gotta, that's just what You got to understand, people see this meme and see this picture and think it just ended there. Like, you got to understand, like, I can tell by the hair texture, this was golden boy era Kobe. Oh, yeah. Yes. This is like before. Pre-Colorado. Pre-Colorado. Oh, yes, yes, just yes, got yes, a chip, yes. won the dunk contest, took Brandy to the prom. Like, Jordan just retired. You were the golden boy. And Chris Child said, Fuck you. Nope. <laughs> You're getting these in. That's it. Right exactly. there. This one is locked and ready to go. You oh, see yeah. That? No. And, and he has no idea. Like, his chin is still this way. Dude, he still I'm has telling those nerves you, it's, of steel. It's, you know what this was like? You ever see women fight? <laughs> yes, I've seen women I, fight. I always joke around about this, but, like, the my favorite part about women fights is neither of them thinks the other one will hit them. Because <laughs> they're so used to not getting hit, right? Yeah. Like, you see two dudes fight, and, like, we do that thing where we put our hands in the air to make noise, but uh-huh. we're really kind of really, blocking the sure punches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what's up there? The what's up there? But we're we're, you know, we're t- tucking high. You see, like, girls, when they come and fight, they come and fight like, like this. Like, there's y'all. You ain't gonna do shit. And I was joking around, like, girls will talk shit as they're getting knocked out. Like, they'll be falling <laughs> to the earth, and they'll still be like, you ain't gonna hit me. It's like, bitch, you just got knocked out. You think you already done got hit. And that's what Kobe was doing right there. Yeah, exactly. I dare you to hit me. Boom. I mean, I, I hit me then. I mean, I get it, though. Like, it's an NBA game. It's like, no, he's not really gonna punch me. I'm Kobe. I'm the nah. golden boy. Nah. Like, Chris, this guy's Chris from lose. Jersey, bro. And like, Chris Charles said, all right, boom. 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 Let's go. Let's take two of those. Kobe had no idea how to react. And what people forget is that Kobe hit him first. Kobe, he hit him with the little the little he shoulder. Bowed him. Yeah, he yeah. tried to bow him a little bit, like, yo, back up. And as soon as he did that, Chris Child was like, oh, okay, we're doing this. Yep. Boom, boom. That's and it. It was a Quick. wrap. Quick. So, so first um, ballot Hall of Famer. First ballot, flagrant two Hall of Famer, Chris Childs. Got round it. of applause to Chris Childs. Yeah, I think he's, he's an inductee off the bat. I think. Off, off the rip. Akash, off the who rip. you got? Uh guys. He only did one thing, and it was so dope that he goes to the Hall of Fame as far as I'm concerned. I think they should be open to voting or whatever. Mm-hmm. Marco Yarick. Marco Yarick. Okay. We got to break that one down. <laughs> I don't think I need to break it down that far. <laughs> Who did he marry? Who did he marry? Mm-hmm. Adriana? Adriana? Adriana Lima. Lima. Did he get a Who was a oven? virgin at the time. Oh, he yes. took Adriana Lima's virginity. Mm-hmm. What? Yes. And yeah. his career stats are... Well, That's his solid. career stats. Pretty Hold solid. on. No, his career stats are, I fucked Adriana Lima first. <laughs> first. Five years oh, married. 
all you Hold need. on, you really believe that she was a virgin? No, keep it real. Who cares? Have you <laughs> ever met he a Brazilian virgin? You get to virgin? say to the rest of the world, I fucked Adriana Lima this is true. first. This is true. Bro, I even, love these even, motherfuckers. This guy got the, the uh, what's his favorite? Ronaldo eyes. <laughs> <laughs> these <laughs> close-eyed, confident motherfuckers, bro. They, it's like they don't even realize. The Look at five this. five o'clock shadow. Bro. <laughs> like, they already probably don't like this. Yeah. So the day we're <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't do nothing this with that. This is bloody if he didn't smoke three packs of cigarettes a day. <laughs> Who are those Russian boxers? Klitschko? He looks like a, like a bitch Klitschko. Like the one bro. that didn't make it. Dude, the confidence, though. Yeah, oh, my dude. God. How like, pull that. The confidence to pull up and and know that she's a publicized virgin, yeah. right? And which is why I give a con- and I, and he gets my vote, yeah, definitely yeah, Hall yeah, of yeah, Famer. Yeah, yeah. The reason Marvel. the reason why I, he gets my vote that is that even if Adriana Lima was lying about it, yeah, he's the first person that can actually go out here and say, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, I did this. I plugged you know? that. Everybody That's else guaranteed. tells you, and then Adriana <laughs> Lima's like, she's like, no, you didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. but no, right. she got to admit it. She said she was a virgin. Wait, hold up. He got proof, fam. So wait, and they have kids, right? He has receipts. I Who cares? Well, oh, no, that's, receipts are important. <laughs> Five years of marriage, not fucking. She ain't even. Bro, she's not saying know. she's still a she virgin. She went like twenty years without fucking. I thought. I thought. Uh, what's his face took her virginity? What's the guy's name? Oh no, he wanted to marry her, but she wouldn't. Who? Um, American woman. Oh, Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz. Really? Yeah, I thought Bro, you took, took pussy from Lenny. What? Yo, and that, you will, you oh, don't even. You're Marco Yarin, <laughs> dog. Wow. That is the greatest shoot your shot in flagrant two history. I gotta find out how this even Are went you down. Are kidding me? Is, yo, what is he? He's Jamal German? Crawford wouldn't pull up from where I he think... pulled up him. That was the that was a full court prayer. No time left. Wow. Let me just see Adriana Lima ask her out. Is he from Argentina? Is he? Argentina? Nah, he's not Argentina. He's like yeah. Ser- Serbian or Serbian something. or Croatian. Yeah. He's yo, like anybody who takes pussy from Lenny Kravitz. Facts. Guarantee first battle Hall of Famer in my book. I he need to know what book. kind of crazy Me Too shit he did to pick her up. <laughs> you know whatever he did, did was borderline sexual harassment. You know he didn't come super polite or nothing. Hell it no. was like, you come sit on lap. <laughs> come sit on lap. I have something poking for you. <laughs> nah, he was with the shit. And he wasn't was a bad a player creep. for a while. He was awesome in 2K. He had the nice three. He had the three. Was he? Next to his name. Who did he, he play awesome. for the Suns? He played for the I think Wolves, he, I, think. I think. he played for the Wolves for a little bit. I think he played on the Clippers Maybe the Clippers, the yeah. I want to say Clippers. I want to say Spurs, too. Yo, the yeah. great thing about the Boy flagrant two Hall of Fame is we don't even need to know what team you played for to get into no. the Hall of Fame, though. <laughs> and it ain't really about what you did like, on the court. It's an off-the-court Hall of Fame, though. Stuff. Back. Yeah. For sure. It's so like stats. Back. Yeah. Teams? We don't need that shit. We already got one of those. We got Fuck a different that, one. Yo. We like legends. Oh, shit. Okay, now I got to come correct with one. Yeah, you you guys came correct, so hard bro. in it. I, I definitely use my best one first. <laughs> you know, normally we ramble, so I was like, we got to get Marco Yarrick in here. Okay. That's got to happen. And, and this is all sports, right? We're all not just All kidding. sports, not but just basketball. a lot of mine are basketball. That's a part. Yeah, I don't, don't want to go with, like, the generic, obvious ones. All right. Um, That's fine. Go for it. Okay. I want to go with I want to go with Steph Marbury. Mm-hmm. Steph Marbury's in my Hall of Fame. Okay. And um, I'll tell you. Better you better have a strong case. Okay. Let's, I'll, let's tell talk it out. I'll tell let's you why. I'll tell you why. This well, obviously I got a lot of love for New York point guards. Of course. Coney Island. Bro. Coney Island. Let's go. Mm-hmm. What do you go? Lincoln or Baylor High School? He went Lincoln to Lincoln, school, right? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> I got love, but but what I love about it is it's the greatest comeback story in history, mm-hmm. right? You have there was a moment where. He was eating Vaseline. That's, that's what I'm about to say. My man is eating Vaseline. He was you eating put him in Vaseline the out the jar, right? Uh-huh. And that sounded crazy. It did sound crazy. It sounded crazy. And then he went to China, and like Vaseline is a very normal dish in China. Really? That, no, but like they eat crazy <laughs> oh, things. <okay. laughs> like word? Like, that's how crazy. That's how crazy the food this is in so China. So convincing no, too. No, that's how crazy word. the food is in China. They, oh, jellyfish Vaseline. Yeah, yeah mix it up, put it together. Cat, but, whatever. We'll fry yeah, it. But, it don't <laughs> matter what it is. We're eating it out here. That's why they'll outlive all of us. Is because there literally is no food that they won't eat. They won't eat anything. Like we'll stop it. Like oh wait, we have to be vegan. They'll be like, listen, if it's part of the earth, we're eating it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That was... Now, he goes to China, becomes what? He wins seven championships, something absurd. Mm -hmm. Scoring titles, becomes like this media brand marketing agent, has a play written. He's the Chinese Jordan. He's the Chinese Jordan, Jordan, dude. He's the (laughs) Chinese fucking Jordan. Multi-millionaire, I imagine. You know the Chinese Jordan, Jeremy Lin? (laughs) That's how good the Chinese Jordan is. Yo, there was an interesting point that was made uh, when I was watching, uh, what's it called, yesterday, uh, which was why are there no small, good small Chinese players? And somebody said that during the, uh, it was the Clippers, uh, was it, no, 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 no. It was the uh, Knicks-Rockets game. Okay. And they're, they, the Rockets have this, like, seven-foot-two-inch, his name is Zoo. Yeah, I forgot his name, yeah. He checked like in late to the game. Checked in late, bummed yeah. it up. But it was interesting to see a guy like that, just shitty chin hair. 
Uh, he makes me feel good about my beard. <laughs> and and uh, and and one of the guys who was calling a game, I forget uh, which. Matt, it might have even been, it might have been Jeff Van Gundy. Mm. He was like, "Why are there no small guards that come out of China that are good?" It's like true. the small guard plays trash. The big guys are skilled. They, they come shoot. out of China. They come out of China. Oh, okay, okay, Jeremy okay. Lin is homegrown. He's, yeah, he's born here. You know, I think he it's because on... a small guard is six one, six two. That's tall as fuck for an Asian. Yeah, but like, they got seven. They China. got seven footers out there, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, but the the small. We all know the small, quick Asians, but they're like my height. Yeah. Like five seven five eight. <laughs> We're the swingman Asians. This is true. Yeah, like we need we need an Asian that like played like Tracy McGrady. They had uh, like, when is when are we getting that? Old boy got drafted. What was his name? Fuck the lefty. Yeah, yeah. They're all lefty. By What's the way. his name? Was was kind of a swingman. Uh, Yi Yi. Yi, Yi, that's what we're talking Yi, about. Yeah, Yi, 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 Yi John Lano, yeah. whatever. What he played for the Lakers. He played for the Lakers. Yeah. He played for a couple teams, but I do remember him playing on the Lakers. Look, um, point is, I wanted like... to. I don't have a great argument for it. I just really <laughs> wanted him to make some sort of Hall of Fame. Though I think <laughs> he's I gonna think... make the Chinese. He's gonna, he's he gonna, gonna make the basketball Hall of Fame. He will make the basketball Hall of Fame. Absolutely. But there's something about going from eating Vaseline to go to to going to the basketball hall of fame, yeah. right? And like having the best years after. Shut up! Everybody wants that. Shut up! What? <laughs> he, went, he went from he went from eating Vaseline to a country where we believed they ate Vaseline. That's true. That's what he did. Yo, I real don't talk. Fuck, this is a denial real from talk, me. That is the only place where he could go. Like yeah. his agent, yeah. his agent had a video of him eating Vaseline, like, oh, and he's trying to get him jobs. And he's like, "Where would people find this normal? <laughs> Bruh. Beijing. Get him over there. Get the tigers." Bruh, you know on the what line. You just did? You yeah. know, remember when they used to have that show behind the music on VH1? Yeah, yeah. And they'd always try. They had these horrible drug addictions, and they always try to make it good at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'd be like, "They're still playing music," and they'd be at a fucking high school gym. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you're doing for <laughs> Steph Marbury. No, no, no. This is better no, than that. Fair. This, this is, is better fair. than that. He's, he's making a ton of money over it. If China. one of those, and real if talk, you found those, out poison was huge in China, would you give a fuck? If I like, found out poison, some the 80s, bands? whatever, yeah, whatever band okay. had it behind the music, <laughs> you'd be like, okay, that's not successful. You a hype? Hey, Hall of Fame? No, there never is a happy ending for bands. There is none. There no. never is. That's right? true. There's never a comeback. They're like drug addicts. Rolling Stones. They're still Rolling doing Stones. It. That, yeah, I mean, there's just yeah, I guess. It's either. But they never dip down. Or yeah, there's never a comeback. Yeah, they're either just drugs or they just kill themselves. It's a sad, it's a sad world. Okay, my pick was trash. We'll go back to you guys. Go, go <laughs> around I'll, I'll drop I'm, another I'm gonna one. Come hard. Yeah. These are all coming off the top of the head. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna get out of basketball. So I think we did three three straight basketball gents real quick. Okay. I'm gonna go into pro wrestling. Okay. And literally the only pro wrestler that could be in a flag or two Hall of Fame. Okay. He has the ESPN 30 for 30 coming out this week. Okay. Okay. The Nature Boy Ric Flair. Okay. All right? Okay. Yeah. If you don't even watch wrestling, yeah. If you don't even watch, if you don't follow WWE or anything, you know Ric Flair. Mm -hmm. He is, as LeBron James called him, the Godfather of swag. For a lot of people, like I didn't grow up on Mickey Mouse, I didn't grow up on Bugs Bunny, mm -hmm. I didn't grow up on a lot of these cartoons. I grew up on this flashy white man who came into my, <laughs> my, my living room talking about how many bitches he's fucking, how many jets he's flying, how many limousines he's riding in, that he just drunk a fifth of Jack and he's going to whip your ass when, he do, when he's done. He was the fucking man, and he still is. He's so much the man that, like, about, like, a month and a half ago, he died. He died. Yeah, he yeah. He died and came back to life. That's hot. Like, That's he hot. Was, they literally gave him a 10% chance of living. Right. Yeah, I think he had, like, liv liver or kidney failure yeah, or something yeah. like that. And, like, they're, like, I'm, t I'm you know, this, I'm not breaking any rules here. I, I work at Bleacher Report. Yeah. And we already had our, like, you know, in memoriams, like, ready. Like, yeah. all of that stuff ready to go. Yeah. Like, he was Gotta be garter. first. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not, like, <laughs> bro, like, you know, even all, like, my, you know, Peter Rosenberg, really good friend of mine, works yeah, yeah. WWE, does Hot 97. And, like, this is right before SummerSlam, and they're supposed to do a uh, Foot Locker thing together for Puma. And Ric Flair's supposed to come to the store and do all this other stuff. And I'm like, you know, I'm hearing all this stuff. I'm like, yo, like, what's really going on with Rick? And he's like, bro, it doesn't look good. Like, he's like, he's like, you know, he might, you know, he might go at any moment. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. And the motherfucker lives. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, you know, he comes out and, like, apparently there's stories saying, like, yo, he couldn't even, like, open a Gatorade bottle when he, like, wow. first came out of his coma and all this other stuff. Yeah. But, like, this isn't the first time he's cheated death. This motherfucker survived a plane crash. He was really? in a plane crash. Really? And he and they doctors told him he would never wrestle again. He would never perform again. This motherfucker went to wrestle for 15 more years. Ric Flair is literally a walking, like, Legend, like when people call him a living legend, yeah, it's shit like that. You know what I mean? Like the mother, the motherfucker wrestled for like thirty. He was outside years. the ring too. Outside the ring, he was yeah. really living that life. Like he yeah. was having, he had mad bitches. 
He drank like a. So he was like, like a wifey character on the, uh, in that he didn't have a wifey character. Nah, no. he was the nature boy. He was a playboy. Like yeah. anytime, anytime some young, like he could be sixty years old. If there was like some young hot girl on the show, he'd be like. Tell me, go, you know, he'll say, you know. What kind of horrible wrestling storyline would that be? A happily married wrestler? <laughs> the no, because they had Macho Man Randy Savage, who was mad this jealous. This is true. This is true. You know yeah, I mean? That dude know. was the most insecure motherfucker in the world. I remember, <laughs> where's my girl? What, what was her Elizabeth. name? Miss Elizabeth. Elizabeth, <laughs> stop fucking everybody, please. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Can't you do this when I'm not on the world stage? <laughs> Like, it was so weird. I was like, yo, why don't you just tell her to go home for when you perform? Like, why she all got to be walking Stay around home, with guys? Elizabeth. Yo, Elizabeth, chill, fam. Like, how much attention you need? My man got the glasses and everything. Whatever. We need a 30 for 30 on what a cuck Macho Man Randy Savage was. That was the ultimate. Dude, Elizabeth, Elizabeth stayed getting pounded by everyone, right? And yeah, they just, yeah. okay, I'll take you back. <laughs> There was Whoa. a thing with like him and Hulk Hogan back in the day where like did Hulk smash Liz? Uh, uh, that, that's what Macho, Macho Man thought, and that's why they fought. That's what they fought because he was like, "Yo, you're." He's like, "Those, those, those lion eyes or some shit like that," and like you know they were tag team, yeah. and then you know I guess he was getting beat up one time, and then Elizabeth yeah, yeah, yeah. was like, "Oh my god, I need to go do something." So he, yeah, yeah. she runs to the back, yeah. she brings Hulk Hogan out. Whoa! Hulk Hogan comes to save Macho Man. Macho Man looks at Elizabeth like. When the fuck did YouTube become cool? Yo. Like, where did that go, bro? Wrestling <laughs> might be fake, but when I discipline you later, it won't be. <laughs> <laughs> Snap into a slim jam. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, back back to Ric Flair. Um, yeah, like he would tell these young women. His catchphrase was, "You know, you're about to go on a ride for Space Mountain. It's the oldest ride, but it has the longest line." Hot. <laughs> like Hot. he would always, he would always have bitches. He would always be partying. He'd always have these super flossy robes and shine like he, he was the Godfather swag and the, and the woos and like yeah, all yeah. that. Two shit. claps like, and a Ric Flair. Let's yeah, go. Like, yeah, like dude. Like and to this day, this motherfucker's been. Active since what the sixties, right? Seventies. He still know? wrestles. He doesn't wrestle anymore. No, right. God, no. But you know, he's still very much like in pop culture. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like everybody, you know, Ric Flair walked in right now. Like he can't, he can't walk down the street. Like he's still, right. uh, you know. This I feel big. like he's had a little bit of a resurgence. Exactly, like exactly. I feel like he's he almost reminds me of like the Iron Sheik. Like you know, when the Iron Sheik yes. became like really popular, like late in life and yes. shit like that. Yeah, ironically popular. Iron. Yeah, exactly. He's one of those ironic yeah. faves and shit like that. So. Ah, uh, the thirty for thirty comes out this week. That's so how, that like, uh, that's how white people prove that they don't hate Muslims. They just go, <laughs> "No, the Iron Sheik." Yeah. Like, hey, hey, hey. What do you mean I'm Islamophobic? <laughs> <laughs> Iron Sheik is my favorite wrestler. Hey, jabroni, yeah. yeah. Didn't yeah, he see, do the jabroni thing? That yeah, was, that was it. the Rock. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was the, the Rock. The Rock took, the rock that took it. Oh, really? Yeah, Cultural yeah. appropriation. No, <laughs> that's how ISIS started. <laughs> <laughs> we will come back and we will take our jabroni from you, Rook. <laughs> By any means necessary, spread the caliphate until we take back Gibran. <laughs> so, yes. And that, and that, yes, that is uh, my induction, Ric Flair. So, so far we got Chris Childs, okay. Marco Yarick, Stefan Marbury, yeah. Ric Flair. Okay, Akash, Akash go. Who we got? Uh, I'm going to go, he actually was great, but I'm going to go with Dion. That's Not just choice. because he's the greatest corner ever, okay, but because my my homeboy put it well, Luther Jackson, shouts to Luther. He said, every corner you see is somehow doing Dion. Mm -hmm. And it might have stopped a little bit now as much, but like you would see the way they would like the crouch they would get into defensively was just like Dion's. I remember uh, Cowboys cornerback Terrence Newman for like 10 years with a little headband around the neck like Dion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was the coolest yeah. fucking athlete ever. Yeah, yeah. I started high, high step at high the stuff. 50, fam. Yeah. At the fucking 50. <laughs> and you heard his 40-yard dash story at the combine? His yeah. combine story? Tell it nah, That's great. Story. So yeah, his, yeah. the combine, you know, you basically just come in there and then these dudes just come in. It's real slave owner. Yeah, they just yeah, like yeah, they, they like about you, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. these drills. Dion comes, skips every drill except when they're running the 40. He just comes in, stretches, runs like a mile around the track. Then he runs the 40, 4 2 40, keeps running out of the stadium, and then doesn't do any more drills. <laughs> I, I was told, I was told a different story. I was told someone else ran a 40, and then he was like, just write down 10. Uh, tenth of a second less than him. <laughs> like, like the story what's the I heard, fastest time? And then give me a tenth of a second less the, than the him. The story I heard is that he ran 4-2 uh, yeah. and then just left the building and that was it. Yeah. He was the coolest motherfucker. Legend. How, Earth, how can we, we can't talk Deion Sanders without talking about must be the money. Must be the money. What's must be the money? You don't know what must... 
do pull up must be the money right it's now. It's a music video, he had a rap yes. video. Oh, yes. I've seen this. I've seen he this. rapped. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the only one you could see being cool enough to rap. <laughs> wow. Play two sports. Mm. Two sport athlete, the only person to play in a World Series and a Super and Bowl. And a Super Bowl. Why did he never play offense? He did. He played a little Cowboys. bit, but 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 he, he wasn't honestly he wasn't that good with the Cowboys. His hands weren't that great. Well, I mean, they're also probably wearing him out because he's playing both sides of the ball and right. returning punts. Right. right but right. Uh, the Cowboys had him play offense ninety five, I think, when they won the Super but Bowl. But it's and interesting. He just wasn't that great. All right, here's a, it, it is, we're diverting from the topic a little bit, but it's an interesting sports talk. Which when you look at like what's more important in football, offense or defense, mm-hmm. when you take an elite athlete like Deion Sanders, and you make a choice as a coach to put him on the defensive end, Yeah, it goes to show you maybe defense does win championships. Maybe defense is the important side of the ball. I also think he was just hands. better as a corner. Yeah. How do you not have – how do you have everything else but not the hands? He has solid hands, but wide receiver hands are different. Like Odell Beckham's different. catch, think about those kinds of hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And like he, he, had, ca- like he catches a football like, like, like a tennis ball. You yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's like yeah. he's that – like, you know, regular I could barely catch a water bottle. Like yeah. This. yeah. Like, yeah. like, pictures like this – are like no, iconic. Like I don't even know this guy. I don't even know if this guy plays. He's the football Godfather. Or not. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that's the Godfather. Yeah, like, so he's the Ric Flair. This of football. is his draft night. Wow. This is his draft night. Swaggy. That is his fit. Swaggy. Godfather <laughs> swag, man. Swaggy. Yo, yeah, I heard he used to come into uh, Cowboys meetings, yeah. and then he would just have on headphones, and then he would just point to the side of the field he was covering and say, "I got that." <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. I believe every single. And then put his headphones back. In. Yeah, me so, too. So he just knew he was better than everybody. He knew that there was nobody he that is, could give him. Yeah, he's the first shutdown corner. Yeah. I don't in ever history. remember hearing about. I, I'm, maybe there were corners before, but you wouldn't hear about like you're quarterbacks just throw, won't throw to that side of the field. Throwing to his side. And I didn't get it when I was a kid. I was like, he didn't have any interceptions. We're paying him all this money. They and now throw. I get older. That, that was my thing. Never throw to him. That was my thing when I was younger. I'm like, he can't be that. Like he does, I get more interceptions than Madden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like my thing is like when you're watching a football game yeah. and you don't hear from a defensive back the entire game, he's doing his job. So yeah. maybe <laughs> interceptions are a bad metric to judge a corner. I mean, it's a, it's a decent metric. I mean, like it you know, means that they're throwing at you. It he means that. I mean, he had a lot of pick sixes, you, so it's like, yeah. you know, if you get those enough interceptions, people are going to stop throwing at you. And then some people think they're nice enough, like, fuck this guy. I'm still going to – he ain't better than me. He ain't better than my arm. And then yeah. I'm like, yes, I am. Yeah. Taking this. And yeah. then, you know, take oh, it to Every the time house. he touched the ball, I remember it was electric. Like, he yeah. could take any anything to the Hot house. Hot returns, yeah. kick returns, yeah. interceptions, you know, lining up a wide receiver. He did – Everything and he wore those amazing gold chains while he played. What about shorties? Did he ever date any made for TV shorties? I don't know, did he? I wasn't really. I mean, I know he fucked a lot of hoes. I mean, I'm yeah, remember, but I'm... I want to know about like TV. I bet he Who would. He take I down? bet he wouldn't tell you. Oh. Madonna. Oh, I, I, mean, I, know, who... I know the worm did, but that's really. Yeah, Dennis Rodman. You remember that? Dennis Rodman used to plug. Yeah, Dennis Rodman and yeah. uh, and uh, uh, Charles Barkley. Yes, it went. Barkley took down Madonna yeah. too. Yo, Madonna's got. It was a even a joke yo. in Space Jam. You know who got to be in the Hall of Fame? Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk, man. Real talk. Who's been with more greats? Than Who's Madonna? fucked more of our heroes than Madonna? <laughs> Real talk. You know what I mean? America was a better place when she was dicking yeah, down all these true. heroes. Now she's yo. fucking some English dude. Yeah, yeah that's true. Wait, Madonna got a, got a list. Richard? I'd be proud of. So I saw Madonna the other night at the Comedy Cellar. She was yeah. there. She went on stage and did a little. That's comedy. a nice humble brag right there, bro. Like yeah, you know how I do. So, uh, <laughs> but no, she was upstairs and she was in. Um, she was just eating like at like a booth, and it was hard to have conversation. Yeah, really. Because everybody in that place was looking at her or like thinking about her. It was. I mean, it's what like she's like. Bro, it was magnetic. Man. She's one of like weird, five people. They're the still most, alive. They're the most famous in the world. The yeah. most famous. Michael people Jordan. On Earth. Yeah. Madonna. Mm. She's fucked the other four. Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> How amazing is that? Yo, Madonna is a legend, bro. Oh. I was gonna go. Okay, I was gonna go with Cookie Johnson from my Hall of Fame. Uh, <laughs> From my Hall of Fame ballot. No, I, mean, I was. And I think I've spoke about this on the show before, but if I haven't, it, you know, everybody gives Magic Johnson all this credit for uh, beating <laughs> HIV. She never even got it. And I feel like, <laughs> in a way, she's a superhuman because of this, this right? Fact. So she's a, a superhuman person. Matter of fact, it could be her vagina that healed <laughs> magic. What if her, what if her vagina... Was the cure, the cure to HIV. HIV. Think about it. If you there's one of those... If you have to call one of those two people magic... <laughs> <laughs> is it Irvin or is it Cookie? Let's be honest. There is one magician in that household, and I guarantee you, he did not play for the Lakers. Oh, man. <laughs> so You're not I, wrong. I would like to, I would like to put her in the Hall of Fame 
That being said, Madonna is, I mean. That's a compelling argument. Honorable mention. That's a, yeah, that's a compelling what, what? I don't know if she's first ballot. I don't know if she's first ballot. Madonna? Cookie might be first Cookie ballot. Cookie gotta be first ballot. Cookie, first ballot. Cookie <laughs> has a panel. She should be. Yeah. The, she she might have her own wing. She got her own wing. We have something. Like, we should pray to Cookie before every podcast. I know. Like, I got it. Emanating non HIV if you if you are sick, if you feel ill, you should just like Hang pray to cooks. pray to a picture of Cookie. You know what I mean? <laughs> Something that just like heal heal me, Cookie. Yo, you should go to the, like a pilgrimage to Mecca. It should be a pilgrimage to Cookie. If <laughs> Yo. you have some terminal illness, <laughs> you go to LA. You just stand there, touch her. You put a single hand on Cookie's stomach, and boom, you are healed. Yo, I'm good. She's like you guys will be good. You'll be fine. Cookie Johnson, the 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 magical vagina. Shout out to her, man. Okay, that was my second one. We're back to you, Kes. All right. Um, I'm going to keep it in the same vein. Um, Whoa. Uh, go to that picture right there. But doesn't he have another son? No, that's... Uh, Mad that's no, Magic's got EJ. another son. Yeah, he's got another son. But, but nobody talks a, about the other one. Here, I mean, look, of course look not. Look how pissed she looks. <laughs> Let me see. Is it Cookie? Yeah, it's Cookie right Let me there. see. Let me she see. looks so... And Michael, MJ just sitting there like, yeah, man, I don't know this nigga Magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> MJ sitting there like, if I feel anything on me, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> saliva, <laughs> nothing, dog. Uh, He's fuck. covering his mouth and all his oh, nostrils magic. and shit. <laughs> yeah. you know, Michael's making sure all his shit straight. like, yeah. my nose running, my nose running. <laughs> 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 oh, my Was God. that Jordan Shorty? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's all. Yeah, shout out to Jordan with, with the regulars. That's Juanita, man. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, they got married because he got a pregnant. Who's that? That's Reggie Miller's sister. Uh, is that Cheryl? <laughs> I don't no. know. No, that's Reggie <laughs> and earrings. Yeah. Well, yeah, nah, Cookie looks pissed. Yeah, she tight because she knows what time it <laughs> is. Cookie cute. My Cookie was a thing back in oh, the eighties, bro. bro. He's 80s, a legend. 90s, Magic was bro. a legend. We're looking at a picture how much right now. Tail Magic Johnson was getting back in the eighties and nineties. I mean, bro. I have an idea. Oh my, yeah. <laughs> Please. Please. I could quantitate Yo. that a little bit. I wonder if you... Nah, I'm not even going to go with that. I don't wow. know the exact number, but I know it's something in the vicinity of enough to get HIV. Right. That's something, it's something around that, somewhere in that Facts. range. Facts. Yo, is he like the White Walker, like, zombie? That shit? Like, like, you know what I'm like, I wonder, I wonder if you cure magic completely of it, then just everyone in LA don't got HIV. Cookie out here like Jon Snow, fam. Yeah, she can't get got. She can't get got. Oh Flagrant two up in this bitch. God damn. Fuck this. Let's just, go. Just Greatest I... sports podcast on the planet. <laughs> Nobody could mess with us and believe that. Oh, my goodness. Believe it. I didn't think we could get lower than uh, selling LeBron sperm and eating uh, ass. Yo. We got HIV, is, bro. <laughs> we, just, we found the source, bro. We got. We found the source. He's like the first vampire. Look, the EJ. He got a face like in this picture right here, like the bad guy from The Incredibles. You ever <laughs> see that movie? <laughs> and he have that face shape right he definitely there. Definitely has evil do it, like evil yeah. supervillain glasses yeah. on. Like nobody's gonna get this reference, but he kind of looked like Nell Carter. If somebody wants to Google him, it's <laughs> Nell, Nell Carter. Carter. Who's Nell it's Carter? Like, EJ kind of looked like Nell Carter. Who's Google him, Nell, Nell Carter. Carter. I want to say two through seven, but I don't want my black card revo revoked. Uh, I know she was the principal on Hang On, Mr. Cooper. That's what, yeah. <laughs> she kind of looked like Nell Carter, fam. Oh, my Yo, God. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, she does. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he, oh, my God. Wow. You are absolutely right. All right, so. All right, my next uh, it, next inductee to the Flagrant 2 Hall of Fame goes to one of the most, uh, I would like to say, diabolical, shrewd business people to ever live. Okay. Um, I've made so much money betting on teams that her daughters would date players on because Ooh. I knew they wouldn't win. So oh, instead of picking, yeah. <laughs> instead of picking Kim, Chloe, Chris, Chris Jenner. Yeah, go to the actual Antichrist. The wow. the source of wow. the diab the diabolical vagina herself, Chris Jenner, mm -hmm. one of the most shrewd and just amazing business people on earth. Yeah. She's Maleficent. Mel <laughs> <laughs> right? Ain't she real life Maleficent? Let's, let's think about this yeah, right here. Sure. Right? So Chris Jenner seeds up, gets seeded up by Bruce Jenner. Right. Right. Yep. You know, all, you know, Formally for kids listening, Bruce. my fault, uh, Caitlin, Caitlin, Caitlin yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. To kids listening to this, <laughs> before she was Caitlin Jenner, Bruce Jenner was legitimately the greatest athlete walking. Yep. Like yeah. he was like that's not even like a, a you know yep. an opinion. 
He was legitimately the, the world's greatest athlete at one point. Olympic right? gold medalist in the decathlon, decathlon. right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, That's all the most useless sports put together. It's <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have a boring sports tour. We got to go to a decathlon. Yeah, That's how shitty. That's how <laughs> shitty those sports are. They're like, nah, we can't have these individually. We're not gonna yo. do all these Pack one at a time, motherfuckers. Please get all these motherfuckers. All right, go, go, go. Yeah. So now, nah, Chris Jenner, man, she um she kicked off the uh you know what the business plan for the Kardashian-Jenner clan later became. Okay. Whether or whether or not she slept with OJ and, and, and created Chloe, that's for your own, you know, way to decide. But there's not one woman who is tied into more sports stories that's never stepped foot on the field or court or anything than there is Chris and Jenner. Every She's story ends poorly. And it ends awful. Court. Let's 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 break it down here, right? You got Chris who married Bruce. No, Chris who married uh what's his name? Rob Kardashian. Rob Kardashian. Who represented OJ. Bang. Who you know was in one of the most talked about story cases in like American history or the pop most. culture history, yeah. right? This OJ case. There's rumors that Chris and OJ slept together, made Chloe, right? right? On top of that, they divorce. Chris marries Bruce. Bruce creates Bruce and Chris create uh you know the the Kylies and the and the what's the other Jenner joint. Uh, the good looking Kendall. one, Kendall, Pepsi. Kendall. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So you got Kendall and Kylie here. Pepsi Jenner. Pepsi. You got Kim, Chris, and Kim, Courtney, and Chloe on the other side, right? Yeah. Kim goes on to, uh, you know, fornicate and and be linked to Reggie Bush, Hot. Chris Miles Humphreys, Austin. Hot. Miles Austin, uh, God, who and probably a, a certain number of football players, basketball players. I'm forgetting. Chloe. Chloe goes on to mess with Lamar Odom. Boom. Lamar Odom, one of the greatest New York City basketball players of all time, all time, ever. Like, he was, for kids who may be too young to see Lamar Odom in his heyday, think skinnier Ben Simmons right now. Or, like, not as athletic LeBron James. Better shooter. Better shooter. He was de- Lamar Odom was definitely a better shooter than Ben Simmons is right now, mm-hmm. right? And he didn't go to no big school. He went to the University Rhode of Island. Rhode Island, right? So... NBA champion, mm-hmm. sixth man of the year, mm-hmm. uh, part of the a, a resurgent Clippers team, one of the first ever like decent Clippers team with Darius Miles and Quentin mm-hmm. Richardson and all these other people, right? Whatever yeah. this was, so yeah, the the, the, no, the Naka, whatever yep. it was called, yeah. or whatever. So, um, Lamar gets hooked on crack, <laughs> and then, uh, from there, she leaves uh, Lamar Odom, mm-hmm. messes with Tristan Thompson. Is with Tristan Thompson as the Cavaliers win their first NBA championship. Is she? Yeah, I thought she came the next year. I think year. they started dating. They were they were together ish. Well, in, anyway, she's okay. been linked to James Harden, Tristan Thompson oh, as that's well. Right. Harden, yeah. then Tristan Thompson. Those are MVPs, All Star. Like if you could, if you could just gather, right? Right. And we'll probably somebody will probably hit me with this stat on Twitter, or Instagram, yeah. or whatever. How many like, ball players they've been with? If we could quantify these, and these are just names we know. Super- I know a name that isn't. Out there, I'll tell y'all off air. Yeah, tell me off air. No, 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 because somebody told me in confidence. Got so gonna... Yeah, so they political connects. I understand. Totally understand. Pussy, um, tell us. Pussy, I'll tell you off air, air bro. bro. Stay on air. These motherfuckers wonder. Is this person married? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. Is it a person that's in the league? Uh. Okay. I'll help you. Help, we'll, help we'll, me I'll narrow tell you it down. Off air. Help me narrow it down. I don't want to answer it... any questions. Any questions I ask will be a big giveaway. Okay. All right. That's fine. Why can't you tell us? Because he, he well, as soon as champion? I tell you, you'll get it. As Who soon told as I tell you, you as soon as I tell you off the air, everything will make sense. And there's nothing I can say that what wouldn't be. What team did he play for? What, what sport did he play? What sport did he play? <laughs> NFL. NFL. NFL player. Was he a New York Giant? No. Okay. That's all I'm gonna answer. Wait, hold on, hold on. As soon as you tell me, I'll understand. You understand why I can't just say it? You can't tell me. Yeah. Understand why I can't say it on a podcast? Chloe dated this person. Well, uh, no, I just know some of the Kardashians. I, multiple Kardashians, possibly. R- really? Multiple Kardashians oh, dated possibly. the same person. Not dated. Fucked. But <laughs> this is only bolstering my, my Hall of Fame case for Chris. I, who? <laughs> what? I don't understand. Buddy, just you want me to fucking text you right now? No, I can't say it. No, just as soon as I give you the name, you're going right, to know you why I couldn't him. say it. Why I'll can't continue, you say it? I'll continue my Okay, who spiel. told you? Who told you? Put it that I, way. Again, I can't if tell you. If you tell me who told me, tell me who told me. 
Tell me who really told me. You know, I don't trust it. I'll tell you off air. I think you said it. I think you said it right in the mic. I think you said it right in the mic. Text me. So swear on confidence you will not say this over there. The second he tells me, I'm telling everyone. I know this, man. It's not even a question. I know this, man. It's not even a question. But then it's not on you. It's over. Then it's not on you. It's on me. I'll take the heat, dog. It's over, bro. I'll take the heat, dog. It's Come over. on, bro. It's over. Who fuck? I'll tell you later. No, it's dude. probably uh, mad people. This is soft, dude. This Fine, is soft. it's soft. I thought this I'll was flagrant too. Yeah. God damn it. You're acting very just regular personal foul. <laughs> nah, this should, nah, this will be flagrant three. This is a reach. This would be, this would be Ron Artest going into the stands. I'll tell you later. Was it Ron Artest? Nah. I wish it was Ron Artest. <laughs> bro, probably on, did, bro. Though. It's a football player. We don't know him. Nah, you probably know him. No, but like personally, you yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah, you probably know. Probably I know him know. personally? Probably. Oh, man. I don't know any football players personally. I know him personally. Oh, I know. No. You say it wasn't on the dollar. No. Okay, all right. It wasn't who I thought it was. I know him personally. So You know, know him personally? Yeah. You know a football player? We're not homies. <laughs> We're not, I don't got his I, number. I'm not I texting him after this and, and be like, yo, is this cool? <laughs> Chad Ochocinco? <laughs> He's not going to tell you, bro. Who did you talk to on Twitter? <laughs> I know it's on Twitter. I know it happened on Twitter. You're not just hanging out with football players in real life. I, I'm i not. This is why I I, I want to hang out with one or two of them. I can't just say this. Oh, uh, this is pissing me off. That's fucking, I'll tell you in an hour. All right, whatever. What the fuck? I'm, next week, that's what we're starting with. <laughs> All right, Kaz, sorry for interrupting. Go. You, you were saying, oh. so, talking about these Kardashians yeah. fucking everybody. And um, the last thing that I mentioned. Uh, Can you blame the them for fucking, for fucking athletes? No, no, I don't blame no. them at all. Just like we don't blame Leonardo for fucking all the models. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I've yeah. never, I've, if anybody's ever followed me, I've never really like shit I just on think the she Kardashians ruins their like lives. That. Yeah, I'm so just saying, like, question. I wouldn't bet against them. Here's a fact. <laughs> like, no, they were, we, we always talked about this the Kardashian yeah, yeah. curse. They're going to destroy whoever exactly, they're with. Exactly. I mean, um, and, and it's going on, you know, Tristan Thompson is on the bench. How can you take down LeBron? At the peak of his powers. Bro, it's it's a scary situation. I One think... moment I'm forgetting to m- mention, right? Yeah. Um, the most gangster Chris Jenner moment was when the New, York, New Orleans Saints won the Super Bowl. Okay. And the post game for the NFL, right? At, on yeah. the NFL Network. Who is Reggie Bush and Deion Sanders, all these people talking to? They're talking to Kim. They got Kim and Mike, Chris Jenner's behind them, Reggie Bush, greatest moment of his life, just won a Super Bowl. Everything in USC he did does not count anymore because of all the, all the things. This is the greatest moment of his football career. And he's sharing it with his girlfriend of the moment and her mom. That is the most OG gangster shit I've ever seen. Beast. Her pull. She is a beast. I'm not a fan of, of what they do, but like, I can never knock the hustle. I let her manage me. Like, oh, what? Bro. Come on. Who's a better manager? I don't know. Who's a better manager of humans? Chris Jenner, Phil Jackson, Muhammad. What's the guy? Jesus. <laughs> who's the guy? Phil who's, Jackson. That's it. All of them will take yeah. you to the promised who's land. Who's the guy yeah. that won the Red Sox and the Cubs the uh, World Series? Oh, Madden. <laughs> nah, Joe not Madden. Madden. Well, not Joe Madden. The other. Uh, oh, Ray Kona. No, no, oh, you're talking yeah. about Theo Epstein. Theo Epstein. 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 Yeah, that Epstein. motherfucker yeah. up there too. That will, little sports yo, nerd. If you yeah. haven't won a championship in a hundred years, he'll get you to it. Facts. <laughs> He's a G with it. All right. But yeah, Chris Jenner, absolutely Hall of Famer. So you just feel like there's no way in hell. Wow, we just got this link. Uh, thanks, Alex. Tristan Thompson, a missed extended period of calf, uh, calf injury. Jesus. Wow. The Kardashian curse is in effect. Like, as we speak. No, that's we speak. no. So I, I had this idea back in the day, which was that the Kardashian, you know, whoever a Kardashian sleeps with, they, they destroy. And there's a lot of information. Even Kanye got fat as fuck. Kanye got fat as fuck. I mean, Tristan destroyed. Uh, uh, James Harden uh, dropped a disgusting sneaker. I've never seen anybody wear. <laughs> Signed a two hundred million. Miles Austin sneaker. wasn't the same. Miles Austin. Cowboy we don't even know knows. what happened to that. He ended up on Cleveland. Yeah. Right. I mean, uh, and, and and so my theory has always been that um, Bruce Jenner wanting to avoid the Kardashian curse changed himself into a woman, so that. <laughs> So that he wouldn't be cursed because he technically is sleeping with a Kardashian. Is this right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, yeah. It's a hell of a theory. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He did, run, he did kill somebody in a Even car not accidentally. Sleeping, no Kardashian man turns out okay. Look at Rob. What do you mean? Rob Rob's is, going Rob's in the shitter. Yeah, <laughs> Rob's going Rob. They just destroy dude. men. That's what they, they destroy do. men. They destroy men. Oh, my God. What? All right. They do make the flagrant two Hall of Fame. They do. <laughs> She's in, guaranteed. Okay, Akash. This is along the lines of Chris Childs, but uh, this is if you're a Cowboy fan, George Teague. Mm, 
Break it down. So game against the Niners in like mm-hmm. 2001, maybe. Uh, Terrell Owens, who is a beast and a definite Hall of Fame candidate, scores a touchdown against the Cowboys, runs all the way to midfield, stands on the star, like in the middle of the field. Ah, okay. Then, I remember. Yeah. Next possession, and Dallas is trash, and San Francisco is good this year. Next possession, I think this is dope. Emmett Smith scores, runs all the way down the field, gets down on one knee, slams the ball down on the star, stares down the San Francisco 49ers bench, <laughs> which is dope. But then San Francisco is just so much better. T.O. scores again, starts running towards the star again. <laughs> Somebody and then George Teague, the Cowboys' safety, is just chasing him down. And as soon as T.O. tries to, like, like celebrate, he just fucking Bam. just lights, lights him up. up. <laughs> you're not doing that again. You're not fucking doing that in Don't our house. Don't disrespect the star, man. There you go. Don't disrespect the star. Mm, I remember that. I remember watching that live, too. Like, when I, that was on, like, NFL on Fox. I was yeah. Like, oh, my God. We were in, like, high school. Yeah. Yeah. No, I remember that. Like, that's when T.O. was, like, peak asshole <laughs> yeah. T.O. Like, I didn't think he was, like, really asshole T.O. in Dallas Cowboys. I was like, oh, well, it's terrible. Yeah. Yeah, 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 dude. But this was the year after the the big catch yep. in the in the NFC yep. uh, yep. wild card against the Packers or whatever. He was really feeling himself, and he was like, you know, I'm gonna come to the star and do all this other shit. And then I think he did it again on the little star. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah he did on <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm not gonna go to the middle of it. Like I'm good over here. <laughs> so he went like to the one in the end zone that's like nearly not as big and just. So if you guys want to vote that down, it's fine. But I have to, as a Cowboy fan, put that name out there. No, I'm with nah, it. I give it. I give it there, man. Defend don't, your home. Don't disrespect the star. Fuck with it. Yeah, I'm cool. Um, okay, I, I run our test. Oh, I'm, I'm 100% with that. Run our test. No brainer. Broke the fourth 100%. wall. 100%. <laughs> you got it. You got it. He wall. did break the fourth Yo, wall, that's dude. That's so funny. No, you know, oh, you know how, like, in House of Cards, RIP House of Cards, but you know how in House of Cards when, like, he looks into the camera? Yeah, and like talks to yeah, the audience. Breaking the fourth wall. He broke the fourth wall. Like, <laughs> yeah. our test started that. Guys, like, that's oh, it. You got to click that image oh, yeah. right there, that's Alex. Right that there. one right there. Dude, oh my holy God. shit. Imagine, Imagine that, coming that to you. running oh into you at a game. It almost looks a little bit like uh, uh, like a, the loincloth that cavemen would wear. Like, he has a little <laughs> bat with him. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Um, so, yeah, he broke, he just broke it down. It was like, for years, Sports fans, myself included, have been going to games. Some of them have been sitting close enough to talk shit uh, within auditory range of these NBA players. Mm -hmm. And it's been like they're talking shit to, you know, behind the television. You can't touch them. You can't do anything. And he changed that forever. I remember sitting third row at a Knicks game, and I was talking shit to Jose Calderon. (laughs) And I remember he turned around and looked at me. And in the moment, I was like, not only will I beat you in basketball, but I'll beat your ass in real life. But, But there was a point in time where I was like, Whoa! I might have to fight Jose Calderon <laughs> and Ron Artest. And you're ready put that for that in my yes. head, and yeah. I was like, "No, I got this." I was like, "He I'm would, ready. bro." I was like, "He would have to jump over this thing, and he'd have a height advantage." Like I was going, I was <laughs> strategizing how I was going to take this four. shit. He he's not small, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? He's not small. He's deep, decent hands, uh, you know what I mean? But I figure the, the stamina after a while, he's going to go. He's, whatever, I'm breaking him down. <laughs> point is, point is, he changed the way that I watch sports. Thanks. Especially live sports, he changed the way that I watched that shit forever. The fact that I know that I could get snuffed now, mm. and it's very similar to like, you know, like a chick who who gets in a fight. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I obviously I've never don't ever hit women, don't ever do that. It's obviously wrong. But there are girls who have been talking shit to a guy, and then they get snuffed, and then after that, they're, like, they're very different. <laughs> yeah, they're very like, different in the way they talk shit. I didn't get snuffed. Exactly. Like, like exactly. you know the difference between a girl who has never, never been, been snuffed and then one who has. And I've spoken to them about it. Yeah, and they're nice. like, yeah, I speak very differently to guys now. I don't get in their face and go do something because someone did, did something. something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, fuck. All I'm saying is Ron Artest has changed lives. He got to be the wild. Be the the best. The best thing about the mouse in the palace, which people probably never really uh, take into account, is that that Pacers team was low key full of like real n words. Like, like, <laughs> I never heard it. you say n words. Like, Stephen yo, Jackson, Stephen Jackson, Ron Artest, Jermaine O'Neal, Tin- Jamal Tinsley, Jamal Tinsley, Jermaine O'Neal. Remember yeah. the punch Jermaine O'Neal punched a dude on the court where dude, he just slid in. Yeah. And just, bam. Bam. Boom, like, and Ron Artest was the realest of all yeah. of them. Steven you know I mean? up there, like, too. Nah, Steven, oh, nah. Steven's, Steven's up there, he's like too. He's like 1B. For real. You know he's like 1B. Because <laughs> Artest is crazy. Steven's yeah. not crazy. No. He's just real with I'm going to be honest. Ron has, is crazy. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm more scared of Steven than Ron. Here's what we always forget about that fight. Ben Wallace mushed Ron Artest hard as fuck. 
Von Arteta is willing to fight Ben Wallace. He's not that crazy. Yeah. Then Ooh. somebody threw. Then he went and laid on the scores table. Somebody threw a beer at him, and he's like, "All right, well, here's somebody whose ass got to kick. <laughs> got to." Steven Jackson will legit kill somebody. Yeah. Or call somebody who could kill you. Like if there's a he there's, knows yo, shooters. That, he knows a, hitters. There's that, a handful that. of people in the NBA that I believe may have killed someone or may oh, have yeah, had their yeah. hands in making yeah. sure someone absolutely. goes away for a while. Yeah, Steven yeah. Jackson's definitely one of those. Oh, people. he knows people who has. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'll tell you who, someone else who I guarantee mm. knows people who has. Uh, uh, he's on the Sacramento Kings now. Lefty shooter. A vertical leap is four inches total. Uh, power forward. Old. Oh, Zach Randolph. Randolph. Zach Randolph, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely got the yeah. bodies. Guaranteed. <laughs> he might not have bodies, but he know people who got bodies. Oh no, for sure. He's he's got the he's got he's got shooter money. You know what I mean? Once you get to the NBA for a certain level and like you talk a certain way and like I kinda know the neighborhood you grew up with. I, I kind of recognize your tattoos. Mm-hmm. I recognize the type of celebrations you do after big plays. I'm yeah, like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are your fingers curled You're like the that? guy. <laughs> You're What's the guy who makes there, these calls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you know, don't get it twisted. I don't think they get their hands dirty at all. No, no, but they but, know uh, people whose hands are dirty. They definitely send the text. <laughs> it's funny because Zach's game is the antithesis of like a gang member. Max. Right? Like, his game is such, like, a blue-collar, hard-working... He plays like the old guy. He plays like the old guy. He plays like a vet. He Post plays, you up. Post you up. Like, it's fundamental, raw, fundamental. Mm-hmm. Like, he plays like he's been in, like, the best systems. Yeah. It, he played like he's been literally... not. I don't want to say coddled, but, like, he's been a prodigy, and he's got the great fundamentals. Never had elite athleticism, but makes up with it with incredible, like, uh, he plays like a white position. Guy. Not, 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 not <laughs> even yeah. white guy. Zach like Randall plays like a college white guy. Yeah, he it's, does. I, it's interesting, like... He plays like a Him more and Chris pro- Kamen's game I, aren't that different. I, I, I keep <laughs> thinking of Duncan. That's why. I, I wouldn't say white guy but just even, because... Even Duncan was a little bit Duncan more... Duncan was athletic. Know, like he had a little bit more athleticism than Zach What Randall about... Did. All right, fair enough. He has the athleticism of a white guy. All I'm saying is he plays like a guy who's like been through multiple systems, AAU kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. It's just a guy who's been around it for a long time. He also looks like alcoholic Eddie Winslow. <laughs> like if Eddie Winslow had a drinking problem, that's Zach Randolph. Yo, he plays like the guy who like sees kids playing on the court and asks for one shot. He's like, come on, let me get one shot, young blood. <laughs> <laughs> Shoots it and leaves. He looks like that. He looks just like that guy. No, you know? know what he fucking plays? I know what he plays like. He plays like the old man point guard. You ever play in like the leagues, that, you know, the urban league yeah. or whatever like that, urban professional leagues? You know there's always like an old man point guard that's all fundamentals, doesn't jump at all, mm. reverse layups, <laughs> boxes out for rebounds, but refuses to jump. Facts. He's all positioned. That's who he is. Well, he's he's always been old. Fall into his exactly, lap. yeah. Like, all right, but he got it protected. Outlet he's always been old. Zach is the <laughs> Zach, he's the he Rick came Ross. Into the league he's the Rick Ross of the, of the NBA. <laughs> Never been young. Never once has he been young. 40 years old always. He was drafted 36 years old. <laughs> yeah, we don't know where he's from. He's like that Puerto Rican kid that was on like the Young Yankees. But damn it, he's effective. And wasn't he, he like effective. one of the, he got in a fight with somebody on the, on the when they were the jailblazers? Yeah. He was the one I think that really kind of shredded everything, right? He got in a fight with somebody. I forgot who he, I forgot who he took. That team had some, had, had some yeah. motherfuuckers on a Bonzi. Well, Rasheed Wallace, Zach Randolph. Even this season. Yeah. Did Even you see season. them clown Bonzi? When Bonzi was on inside the NBA. Well, he was on Area 51. A man looking mad old, fam. Drink some water, he dog. What are you doing? Barkley was like, yo, I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Bonzi said, so, like, who are you? I, I got no clue. He pulled the Draymond Green with Clayville. Fucked up. <laughs> Even this year, he almost, didn't he get popped for, like, something like weed or something like that? Or, like, yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, like, you know, he, I think selling. he was, I don't know if he wasn't, like, he wasn't, like, corner selling the weed, but, like, you know, the, the operation was coming. Well, He's the allegedly. big homie. He, Allegedly. Let's be honest. He's the big he's homie. He's the big homie, definitely. And he can't know. separate himself for, I don't understand for the life of me why, but hey, everybody has their vices. You know, some people go uh, skydiving, some people go snowboarding, and some people sell. Well, so, no. hey, man, like, it's, you know, Al Harrington has, like, created a legal business out of this. Like, he's a legitimate, um, you know. Weed dispenser? He's a legitimate weed dispenser. He, he owns a weed dispensary in California. Like, That's where the money is now. Yep. A lot of money, yep. dude. A lot of money. Al Buckets. You know, that, Al that's Buckets. my guy. <laughs> now he's Al Buds. Now he's, now, now he's Al Buds. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Akash. Uh, uh, Kaz, I think it's you. It's oh, my, my bad, Kaz. Shit. Uh, gosh, I wasn't prepared. But I'll go off the top. Um, one person who absolutely deserves uh, my well, This breakfast. will be our last round. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, oh, gosh. How can I go a whole uh, thing without mentioning J.R. Smith, man? J.R. Smith. Oh, I'm into this. Let him know. Let me tell you guys. Let him know. Get up the and tweet. It, and you, and you, and you know, we all know certain, you know, J.R. Smithisms when he was in New York. I think that's been well documented. I have a personal J.R. Smith story. Talk to me. From 
I want to say Easter 2011 or something. This is back when um Pink Elephant was still open, right? Pink Elephant, okay. I, I want to say Pink Elephant, <clears throat> right? So I was back. Uh, it was me. Oh, bam. Okay, this was during the NFL draft. Okay. Same night as the NFL draft. My boy, Rich was out. He's good friends with Adrian Peterson, right? Me, Adrian Peterson, a bunch of his boys. We all get a booth. We're all hanging out. I'm like, holy shit, I'm hanging out with the MVP. Da, 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 da. Having a blast, right? They're in the off season, so like yeah. we could do get whatever. bodies, yeah. do whatever, right? A couple hours later, strolls into the club, Lloyd Banks, Joel Santana, a number Thanks. of amazing looking women, and one Earl J. R. Smith the third, right? And uh as we're taking, you know, those 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 shots and drinks or whatever. I know there's a picture that's gone viral that that always gets posted a lot on Twitter. It was a picture of him holding up a rosé bottle to the face. That was the same exact night (laughs) (laughs) that I was there, right? Okay. Even adding more to the legend, they had a game that Sunday morning. (laughs) (laughs) They had a game that Sunday morning. And did he ball out? Of course. You goddamn right he balled the fuck out. (laughs) Motherfucker had like six threes. I'm like, JR is a legend, bro. That's why he's that's why he was so beloved in New York, dude. Cause everybody saw everybody knew he was gonna be there. Greenhouse, yeah, or Pink Elephant. And like when he got traded, like the it's nightclub crazy. system went down. Yeah. Like, like, also, <laughs> he epitomizes to me what I think of New York basketball. Oh, for sure. Like I don't really have a basketball IQ. I'm always gonna shoot. Mm-hmm. No uh, conscience. But he's I'll still nearby. bite he's you from in a Jersey. Second. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a yeah. Jersey kid, so you yeah. know. New York was unflappable confidence. Oh, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Entirely too much. Yeah, too much confidence. What yeah. is it? What is it? What, what irrational, is it confidence? irrational confidence. Irrational confidence. Yes, and yes, I'll tell yes. you, I, and you know, I, I've, I've played against like a lot of guys in high school that ended up going into the NBA. And like, I've played against like the Durants and like, you know, the Kevin Love and these big like all star players. The best person I played against in high school as a high school player was J.R. Smith. Really? J.R. was go- like, He's between so him and Sebastian Telfair, two best high school players I've ever like. Really? Against and Why? Watched. What was so good about he him? He was unconscious. He plays exactly now that he did in high school. Like he was so six, the three six, was just forget it. Pulling from wherever, dunking on everybody, windmill. He was like Jordan in high school. Yeah, dog. Like yeah. he was committed to North Carolina. He was supposed to go there. Yeah. He kills in a McDonald's game with like when it was super loaded with like Dwight Howard, Josh Smith, yeah. Sebastian Telford, all the guys. Kills and it's like fuck North Carolina. I'm gonna just declare for the league. Gets drafted top ten. Bang. <laughs> and, like, and played well. He and played, played well. well with Denver. Played yeah. well. He's one of those guys where, like, once he gets hot, and, like, in high school, he was always hot. Yeah. Like, once he gets hot, he is unstoppable. I and, love and he, J.R. Smith. I'm yeah. sorry to interrupt, but what mm-hmm. does bother me is I remember watching a game when he was with the Nuggets, the year Mello made to the conference finals, mm-hmm. and I'm watching him in the playoffs just take over as a point guard. Yeah. He's not pulling up crazy shots. He's driving great no-look passes. Yeah. Like, beautiful Magic Johnson passes. And I was like, oh, this guy could be one of the greats. Yeah. And that's that's what drives coaches crazy. Yeah. Like, why can't you be like this all the time? Yeah, wait, yeah. <laughs> wasted talent. Yeah. yeah. I, I wouldn't say wasted talent because he's made a niche. Like, he's going to, you know, he's, he's what, like 12 years, 13 years in the NBA? Like, a lot yeah. of people can't. I he's, appreciate what he is, but I lament what he could found, be. Yeah. yeah. He, that, that's he could have been so much more. That's it. Yeah, he could have just developed maybe a couple other offensive moves. I mean, his offensive vocabulary is pretty limited. Yeah. yeah. He's a great shooter, but it's not like – I mean, like, Kyrie has a plethora of moves he can use, yeah. right? You yeah. know, Kobe has a plethora of moves he could use. This guy is, there's, like, a crossover or hesitation into the basket. Yeah, no, you got to understand, like, when he was coming up, yeah, he was, like, in the same vein as, like, the Kobe's, the T-Nets, because, like, yeah. that's what the game was. Yeah. LeBron was still kind of, like, developing, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, we yeah. still wouldn't see, like, these, like, 6'10 point guards and stuff like that. How you won championships was shooting guards that could just flat out score. Yeah. And that's what he was. And I feel like if um, you know, in, in the right system, he always, you know, he always played well. He averaged like nineteen points a game off a of bench, yeah. like six man of the year. Like beast mode. Never an all star, but like he's one of those guys that are like, you know, he's and he's a honest. talent. And he's honest. And you know, I and, and I'm I'm a J.R. Know. Smith stan. Yeah. Like I was leg- like We've lost a lot of players in the past couple of seasons. That hurt you the most. J.R. Yeah. Smith hurt me the most. I was like, he was so New York. He was so about this city. Yeah. And, like, you could tell he loved being a Nick. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, so. And I think he even said it. Like, when Phil Jackson traded him, like, he was, like, legitimately sad. Like, yeah. you know, that he is. It's, it's his backyard, basically. He grew yeah. up in Jersey. So, J.R. Smith, 
That's my. All right, that's my and of, of course the tweet. Of course. And of course the trying to get the pipe tweet. I'm trying to get. Gotta the put that in. <laughs> Single greatest DM ever. <laughs> How old was she? She was what? Seventeen. Of age, hopefully. Oh, I thought there was a big deal that she was a certain age. I don't know. He right. didn't know that. He was just. Oh, I'm asking. not putting it out like yeah. that. He's I, just I, asking I, questions. Yeah, but I think. Uh, I got to leave soon. So All let right. me just throw out one. Uh, Al Bundy. Yes. Okay. Respect. Yeah. Al Bundy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Poke high. Okay. Poke high. <laughs> this man, I think, would fit right in in a fourth chair at Flagrant 2. Okay. Facts. Don't give a fuck. Nice and chauvinistic. I know, Kaz, that might not jive with you, but Andrew and I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, and still holds the record four touchdowns yes. in one game at Poke High. The, the, the post, the funniest <laughs> fucking character maybe I've seen in my lifetime of shows that have been on. Thanks. Just right. incredible. You get no argument from me. Yeah, Hall of Fame. I was going to go Willie Beeman as my... That's, as my Beeman. Beeman. Oh, That's yeah. a great one, too. That's Boy. a great one, too. Yeah. Steaming Willie Beeman. Willie Beeman. My name is Willie. Willie Beeman. I keep the ladies, <laughs> ladies screaming. I thought it was creaming. I didn't know it was screaming. I, I thought know. it was... Uh, maybe it might be, oh, might be creaming. Shit. I don't know. Ledge. Yeah, shit. Oliver Stone, man. It might be. <laughs> okay. Um, God, I need one. We could put Willie in there. I mean, Willie is Willie is is, is is legendary. Um, all right. You know who I'm gonna say, and this has nothing to do to do with stats, but Mayweather, and it, it's only to do with the harem. Okay. Oh yeah. I, look at his his Instagram. Today but... was so great. He posted a picture on Instagram today. It was him with three chicks that I've never seen before. He goes, and the caption is. I can't have just one. That's too close, close to, to zero. Wow. Oh, that's too close to none. And, wow, he looks massive in that yeah, picture right there. Yeah, far. that looks way too. Yeah. Anyway, but, so, point is, is, um, I, I, all I'm saying is this. I've had girlfriends, and the one thing that I understand about uh, women is that uh, they can get very comfortable with whatever they have quickly. Right. So, for example, if you take a girl out to eat maybe three times and you pay every single time, immediately her brain goes, I don't pay for things now. Mm. So. Floyd has made Floyd has what, like six girlfriends that are his girlfriend? Maybe. Oh, give or take. Now, these are all like loyal women who have had some of them have had children with him uh-huh. and they stayed around. They're part of it. They're part of this kind of group. They all play. This they must position. give up that lifestyle. Listen, it is an interesting. It's not like these girls maybe couldn't get another guy who's doing well, you know. But they not did, Floyd well, not Floyd well. <laughs> but like, how much does a life change? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I just don't understand how much a life change. That being said, he has managed to convince these women that it is better to stay with him and be part of the harem and be part of <laughs> this group that we have going on. Uh, and he has managed to maintain the amount of money that's necessary to back that up. Yeah. Because if he goes broke, obviously these girls aren't going to share a broke guy, mm. right? Mm. So this guy, I mean, like, what he's managed to do with the only time we've heard issues with women is when he allegedly beat one up. Yeah, and uh, that's a big issue. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not I'm big. Saying it's a big issue. I'm not saying it's not big. I'm saying, yeah, like, he might punch you in the face. Is maybe. it a harem or is it hostages? I think <laughs> that's what we're trying to figure out right now. R. Kelly was good. <laughs> no. uh, all I'm trying to say is, like, outside of that situation, which is absolutely fucked up, I'm not justifying that at all. But it's not like we're hearing, we're hearing, like, uh, relationship drama in the blogs. Yeah. Dude, yeah. We, hear, we hear beef between, like, Gabby and Dwayne. Mm. We hear beef between all these, but we never. Well, I guess we do hear beef. Yeah, about to say, like, maybe it's, it's a bad example. A different type of beef, Andrew. Yeah, 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 I was exactly. trying to find good. a way to save it. But it's it's all good. You're there. You're yeah. there on the island alone. Maybe bro. there's some uh, <laughs> repercussions I think he's for the he beef. He just respects the fact that he can balance six women. Six. I mean, you know how? Look, Kaz. We Akash. We all right now. I don't have a girlfriend. You guys both have girlfriends. Mm. Is it difficult to to live your life and pursue your dreams with a girlfriend who loves you dearly? No. Not at all. You fucking phony. <laughs> not at all. Of garbage. Think of, a, Yo, of course it's not hard. Are you kidding me? It's the easiest phony. thing I've ever it's done. so easy. Never difficult ever. Kaz That's checks his phone bad. every three minutes. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, there's a food delivery for Somalian refugees coming in. This guy, dude, there is... Think of a fucking Yo, <laughs> bro. My girl listens to this shit. Yo, Yo it, All I'm saying is, we know the stress. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why through. would you do that? It's a real <laughs> question. Crazy. Oh, hold up, hold up. So he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna put, a, he's gonna put Yo. himself on the island with like the yeah, Mayweather like, beating yeah, ass. Yeah. <laughs> how they go do me like girlfriends? this? Bro? Hey, how they go do me like this? Bro? He got a girl. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna do me like 
like this, yo. That's Damn. fucked up. I thought we were a team, yo, bro. We are, but you that's what flagrant. I saw, though. What you guys are doing? <laughs> what you flagrant. doing is flagrant, fam. You alone Look, out bro, here. Be alone. To have honest conversation. <laughs> No, <laughs> coming in here like I'm in the best relationship. Everything is perfect. I never have any stress. Everything is Everything perfect. Is perfect all the time. I never have stress. <laughs> Every week, Kaz walk in here like Kevin McHale. He got his <laughs> fucking documents <laughs> flying everywhere. Going, oh, I'm all stressed. I got to go. My honey Palooza. I gotta, I gotta go. All these things are going on. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know what you I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> I don't know what's up. You ain't about, shit, man. Andrew. You ain't shit for that. You ain't <laughs> shit for that. I'm How you never dry I'm okay, I'm lonely, head. guys. Okay, I'm lonely. I just want someone to be upset with me. I just want someone to disappoint. I just want someone to not live up to expectations too. Okay? I'll be honest. I'll open up. Oh. I'm fucking tired. I'm tired of you coming here complaining about your girl when I have nobody. I'm just gonna look at my dating apps and wait for a connection. <laughs> you guys are always connected, you pieces of shit, you jerks. Oh fuck. Yo. Oh my god. Oh. I don't think I'll, I, I can't follow that. Yeah, well, here we go. On that note, I'm saying he manages all the, these emotions really well. But, but in retrospect, maybe he doesn't manage them. Maybe he just beats them all up, okay? Maybe he shouldn't be in the fucking Hall of Fame. Maybe I needed to have this conversation with you guys so I could figure this whole fucking thing out. Yo, Floyd is like a walking Me Too hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> Floyd is Me Six. <laughs> Yo. I gotta go, actually. This is the perfect way to go. Oh, fuck. All right, then. Well, shit, man. Yo, that... Take us home, Andrew. Take right, us home, that, that has been another episode. I, I, I removed Floyd from the Hall of Fame. Thank That's you the guys one thing for getting to my better judgment today. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate it. Sometimes you need friends to walk you off, of the, walk you off a bridge, or talk you off talk a bridge. You off yeah. the bridge. I talk walked you myself off. off the bridge. Jesus Christ! But uh, thank you guys so much for listening. To another episode of Flagrant Two. Thank you guys for listening. Keep sharing. Keep telling motherfuckers about it. Keep liking it. Keep writing comments. We need all that. We coming back for the top spot every single week. Yes, sir. Uh, we love you guys. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm I'm meeting people on the street now. I can't tell you how many people will come up to me and be like, yo, I love Brilliant Idiots. And they'll say, and Flagrant 2, that shit is yo, dope. Yo, I was in yo. Sirius XM this morning. The dude comes up to me. He's like, yo, Flagrant 2 is fire, bro. Yeah. And it's just when I got people coming up and just randomly, that's the first podcast that they're saying, I know we got something special and I know awesome. we're cooking. So, And we can't cook without you guys. You guys are the grease, literally. So please keep uh, keep supporting what we do. We're going to keep giving you this great content, man. Thank you guys so much for listening. Any, any plugs real quick? Oh uh, man, uh, damn! I don't think. That... Oh yeah, uh, November eighteenth, Honey Palooza. We're in Los Angeles, uh, taking over downtown LA. Hot. Um, shout out to everybody working on No Script Bleacher Report uh, every Thursday. You can check that's that dope. out. That's dope. Y'all should that check that out. So that's, yo, that shit is that's so great. Funny. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Um, Satori Radio every Monday through Friday from ten a.m. to two p.m. You can hear me uh, on the afternoon uh, drive and shit. Uh, the Wrestle Rap Podcast Saturday. Mornings, my boy Emilio Sparks and the mm. MLW Network, and uh, that's it, man. The cops plug them up. Uh, yo, same few things as always. American Desi's podcast, check it out. It's dope. And uh, November twelfth at Caroline's, are doing a show for the New York Comedy Festival. It's called ABDC. Seven thirty. You can buy tickets at Caroline's.com. See y'all there. I gotta bounce. I'll see y'all. Go go right, go. Brother, go. And uh, go. I'm gonna be. Uh, oh, just real quick for everybody to listen. You probably already know this, but we we recorded this on um, a Thursday. Yes. So we're, we, if anything crazy happened in sports this week, and you're like, why the fuck didn't they talk about it? It's because we didn't <laughs> we're know. We're sorry, goddammit. Right? We got this, shit to do. <laughs> yeah, I had to go to Chicago, but uh, please come to my show at Gotham Comedy Club. I'm headlining Gotham Comedy Club the 9th of November for the New York Comedy Festival. So please come out and check out the show. I think it's at 7 or 7.30. But get tickets for that. You can go to GothamComedyClub.com for tickets. Um, and yeah, check that out, man. It would mean so much for me if you guys come out and support that. It means the most to me when I come and headline at home. So please support that. Besides yes, that, you can check everything out on my Instagram. That's all. Now, what's up, now? Oh shit! Oh yeah, shit! So should watching. we? Should we? What do you think? <laughs> uh, you know what? It's so insulated. I feel like I like this episode. Yeah, I, I think we gotta live long. like this, and then we'll kept, we'll come back. Sean watching get to towards next week. ACL. Yeah. yeah, but y'all already know about it. You already know that. <laughs> Alex is By the upset. time you hear this, it'll be old news. Yeah, you so. can tell he's on Alex's fantasy team because <laughs> this motherfucker just wants somebody to cry to. Somebody he's going through care. something emotional. Everybody else in your league is like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we out. This is uh, Flagrant 2. No easy buckets. Thank you guys for listening. Peace. Peace.